Hello dear ones Today we're going to do an unboxing video I'm sorry I haven't been uploading videos recently It's Work's been hectic and I had um, college work to finish last weekend So the whole weekend was just taken up by that because I was behind So today's Friday so I'm looking forward to a relaxing weekend before I start work again make this video, maybe make another one, and then I'm going to watch the new series of Afterlife 2 by Ricky Gervais, which has just come on UK Netflix today. Not sure if it's on all Netflixes around the world. But before that, let's do an unboxing video. So this was a present I received. Oh, put that there present I received from my partner in the post this morning and obviously as we can't go out at the moment he um, decided to send this present to me because as he put it we can't go to the lakes but a little bit of the lakes can come to us or to me <laughs> some Grassmere gingerbread and this is renowned Grassmere that's been made in the Lake District in the UK and the Lake District for those of you who don't know is a national park in the north of England and they've been making this gingerbread there since 1854 Originally, recipe was originally created by Sarah Nelson. Apologies, I did, I did open it and then after I opened it I thought, oh, I could have made a video. So I didn't open the actual box. So we'll do that together. Thank you. 
Is anybody else who's left-handed? Oh, isn't it a nightmare trying to find scissors you can actually use and cut with? These aren't too bad actually. Many, many pairs I've used. I just can't even cut wrapping paper with them. Us lefties struggle with those simple things. We have three cards. The first one says, Thank you for your order, which was packed by Steve. If your delicious grassmere gingerbread is just too good to share, then why not send some to your family and friends today? And this, what's great about this gingerbread is it's actually baked the day before. So you can't get fresher than that. Well, if you buy it the same day. Okay. The second card. made gingerbread is best when fresh don't delay eat me today and it says how to enjoy grass made gingerbread at its best place in a tin or air kite <laughs> airtight container store in your fridge and eat within a week during this time it may be softened or freshened for a few minutes in a moderate oven visit our website for lots of fabulous grass mere gingerbread recipes interesting um i've never kept it in the fridge and it's always been fine and oh yeah a few minutes in the oven might be nice though warm gingerbread hmm maybe even a scoop of ice cream and it says, from the most beautiful corner of England comes the best gingerbread in the world. And I have to say, it is the best gingerbread in the world. And I never liked gingerbread until I tried this. It's probably one of my least favourite biscuits, which is gingerbread. And when my partner introduced me to this, oh, it's just, it doesn't taste like your regular ginger biscuits you get from the supermarket not at all shall we read what's inside you've been sent a gift of sarah nelson's original and celebrated grassmere gingerbread a delicious delicacy from the lake district its unique intoxicating spicy flavor tastes like nothing else on earth that's true Crafted from a secret Victorian recipe, it is freshly baked every day at the Grassmere Gingerbread Shop inside historic church cottage from where your gift was purchased. We hope that you enjoy this wonderful treat. And there's, I, actually, I, I have been to the little house, the little cottage in the shop. It's very quaint. Very English. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 
It's like, you remember when you were a kid and you used to fold up a piece of paper and then cut little shapes out of them, like diamonds, it's like that. <laughs> Well, it usually comes in a tin. The last one I had came in a tin. But I have got a tin from the last one. Although, I think I've left it at work. So I was eating them at work. And obviously, I'm working from home now. plans for the weekend. The weather's been lovely in England today. It was it was really hot about eleven o'clock this morning. I nipped out for a quick break of work and I did not want to come back to work. Is anyone else working from home? How are you finding it? There's definitely some benefits to it, but yeah, you know, not having to travel. Not having to worry about making lunches and things, you know, the night before or going out and buying food. Being able to watch telly while you work. Not having to put up with annoying colleagues <laughs> when you're trying to listen to your podcast and they're talking very loud. Or trying to listen to ASMR videos. It's very well put. I'm going to open it to show you. ago maybe with this. I'm going to make myself a coffee later and have one. Mm -hmm. 
bunches. And you get one, two, three, four, seven, seven bars. And yeah, if you like gingerbread, this is the best. Oh, you can smell the ginger already. This is the best I've ever tried. And obviously, if you don't like ginger, you will hate it. <laughs> or if you're allergic to ginger, like my friend is. me now because I know a lot of people don't like eating so I just wanted to show you why can you never wrap things the way they wrap them they've fallen out Yeah, it comes in a little tin, which I'm not sure whether it's supposed to, or they forgot, but I have got one already, so I don't mind, I can, I keep that one, like I said, it'll work. <laughs> Sorry about my nails. I had them, I had gel nails put on before we, we locked down and I don't have the solution to take them off and they've lasted really well but my nails have grown a lot underneath. So I'm waiting for one to fall off and then I'll work on them and then we'll just repaint them with regular polish. Okay, that's it. Have a wonderful weekend, whatever you do. I know options are limited, but yeah, if you're working all week, it's nice just to have those couple of days off. And if you're not, and every day feels like a weekend day, then try and have fun. Try and have a laugh as much as you can. Put one of your favorite comedies on, you know, one of those old ones from the past that just, you know, is guaranteed to make you laugh every time. Because we need some laughter at the moment, just a bit of light-heartedness among all the suffering that's going on. Okay. Okay, that's me. I'm going to say goodbye. And I'll see you soon.